Hi and welcome to Fancy Black Gold. In this video I will explain some of the things that I use and I, that I find quite useful to have outside of my tank. One of the things that I use quite a lot and that you'll use quite a lot as well if you have it is a water test kit. Now these comes in a lot of brands and a lot of different variations but the drip test kit variation is by far the best and most precise you can get. I do recommend that you keep this especially when cycling a tank or adding new fish to a tank or generally changing something up in your tank so you know where your parameters are and you know when to do a water change. So this is one of the things that I really think that you need to have besides just having a tank full of fish. Another thing that I use quite quite a lot and that I really think that everyone should have is a spare tank. Now, I'm not talking about a tank the size of your normal tank, like this is a 175 gallon tank. I don't have a spare of that, but I do have several smaller spare uh, tanks uh, in the 2010 gallon size which are really good if you are having sick fish, if you need to quarantine fish, if you're breeding your fish and you need you know, a place for the little ones to grow up and you can feed them and control their environment. So really having one, two, several spare tanks is really, really a good idea and something that I honestly couldn't do without. So if you're upgrading your tank from a smaller to a larger tank, hold on to the smaller one and then use it if you get a sick fish, if you get new fish that you need to quarantine. Um, it's just really, you know, really helpful. And when you do have a spare tank, it's also a really good idea to have an extra air pump with stone and everything. So you can actually get some aeration, some water movement in the tank so it helps keeping the water oxygenated while you have your fish in this tank. This is something that I use several times a month when dealing with you know my extra tank. You can also have some small internal filters, uh, hang on back filters that fit, fit this tank if you're having a fish stay in the water for a prolonged time. Uh, so you can actually get some filtration of the water and you don't have to change water every single day for instance. Um, another thing that I use a lot is bowls. I'm not talking about glass bowls, I'm not talking about you know these goldfish bowls, I'm actually talking about things to move fish around in from tank to tank or just to keep my fish in while I do a water change on the tank. Uh, I really I have like three or four of these kind of plastic bowls that I use so that when I do clean the tank the fish can stay in that, be happy, be not disturbed by me cleaning the tank or sucking the water out of the tank and all this so they don't get as much disturbed and I can feed them you know snacks and stuff and that and it works really really well. So that's also a thing that could be very useful to have is just small plastic bowls where a fish could fit in and it's also good for instance to take pictures in as you don't have other fish swimming around and you can get a top side view of the fish so yeah another thing that i use quite a lot is a big variation in food so having several types of food and being able to switch up the food between feedings is also something that I think a lot of people don't do. A lot of people just feed one kind, but yeah, try feeding different kinds. I made a video about that, I'll put a link in the description so you can see a lot of the things you can feed your fish. Uh, and a last thing which is quite quite necessary if you have a large tank and you need to change water 
at least once a week as I do on this huge tank behind me here is a water change system now a lot of people especially in the US use the pythons I had one of those but I really disliked it as it used water to pump water out of the tank to create the suction needed it actually used water so you actually use twice almost as much water as it took to fill your tank just to get the water out so instead I use a filter pump or um, a sump pump uh, some people call it uh, which I can attach a hose to and, and then I can actually put the hose in the sink put it in the plug and away goes the water pretty pretty fast without me having to actually carry buckets because that would take forever to do so that is definitely a time saver, a water saver, a labor saver and yes it cost a bit to get the pump and get the hose and you know a bit more electricity but it just makes it so much easier uh, so instead of my uh, water change routine taking at least a couple hours it actually only takes about one hour so that's very very efficient and yeah that is pretty much it these are the things that I think you should get besides just having you know a decent sized aquarium with a good filtration system the goldfish or that you like safe decorations and whatever you want to put in the tank of you know in case of fish and such uh, so these are this is this is things that I think you should consider getting and a lot of these things you should be able to get on sale get them used you know especially the spare tank buy a used tank is not a tank that you are gonna have in your you know living space constantly so it doesn't have to be the most beautiful and best tank in the world it just serves a function and that function being keeping fish you know in water for a limited a period of time so yeah so I hope you can use this advice to make your fish happier, make your fish life easier and that you keep your fish healthy and happy, which is what it's all about. So thank you, see you soon.